It's time for Tech Time with Timmy. Hello, welcome to Tech Time with Timmy. In this episode, Timmy's going to be talking about how to import live data from one Google Sheet to another. So Google Sheets is really cool and Timmy's talked about it many times before. And so if you have two, sp two spreadsheets in Google Sheets and one has a whole lot of information on it and the other doesn't, and you want to have the same information on the first spreadsheet as you did on the second spreadsheet, you could just copy that information and paste it. But then whenever you change it on the second spreadsheet, it wouldn't change on the first spreadsheet. You'd have to do it manually. Well, there's a cool way where you can actually make it do that live. So whenever you change something on the second spreadsheet, Spreadsheet, it would all appear on the first spreadsheet. So if you're doing that you'll need to have your two Google Sheets spreadsheets open like this. So what you need to do is first on the spreadsheet where you want to import all the data you just need to click in the box. So you just need to click on the box where you want that data to be and then you need to type the equals sign and import range. So you type import range and then an opening bracket and then quotation marks and now you need to go over to the other spreadsheet which is the one that has all the information on it and you need to get this URL so click on this URL and it should be all highlighted and then right click and click copy and then go back over to the spreadsheet where you're doing this and paste the URL in here so it's like this, so it's in port range, and then a bracket, and then the quotation marks, and then the URL of the other spreadsheet. And so now you need to type quotation marks again, and a comma, and quotation marks again. So now you'll need the name of the specific sheet that's on that spreadsheet. Like how there's sheet 1 on this spreadsheet, and there could also be sheet 2 and stuff like that. So you need to go over to your sheet where you have all the information. And if it's just a new, brand new spreadsheet that you've created, it'll probably just be sheet one. But you need to look down here and see which what it is. So in this case, it's just sheet one. So you need to type that name exactly. So in this case, it's sheet one with a capital for S. And so once you've typed the name of the spreadsheet, you'll then need to type an exclamation mark. It is a bit strange. So now you need to go back to the other spreadsheet with all the information on it and you'll need to find the range. So if you wanted it to be all of this, so you want you wanted to import all of this to the other spreadsheet, then the range would be A1 to B15. So then over in this spreadsheet you'll need to type A and 1 and then you need to do a colon and then B15. Well, you probably wouldn't be doing A1 to B15, but you need to type whatever it is you wanted, at the range for whatever it is you that you wanted to import, and then just quotation marks again. And now you can press enter and it will say loading and it'll say ref, but that's okay. You just need to hover over it with your mouse and then go over here and click on the allow access button just to allow it to get the information and you wait a second and now it's all in here so you see all this random numbers here all, all that was in this spreadsheet and it's now also in this spreadsheet so if you changed it in spreadsheet number two maybe if you change number 321 to 400 and then that saved then when you go over here that box that was 321 is now 400 so it keeps updating so if you if you just kept this spreadsheet up to date then this spreadsheet would always be up to date because it's pulling in that data so that's really cool and that's really all there is to it and that's how it's done and that'll be the end of this episode of tech time with timmy